In 2021, the Evergreen uh, blocked the Suez Canal for just six days. The result, billions in delayed cargo, factories running out of parts, ships diverted thousands of miles around Africa. During COVID, the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach had dozens of ships anchored offshore. Retailers couldn't stock shelves, manufacturers couldn't get parts, and consumers saw prices climb. Here in Africa, when Port Noir um, or Matita sl slowed down, prices in Kinshasa um, or Bangori rise within days. A regional port becomes a regional bottleneck. These stories show that port disruptions aren't local, they are global. Ports are the beating heart of the global trade. They're not a single business, but an ecosystem of highly specialized organizations. They face daily operational challenges and long-term strategic risks. And when they come under pressure, the symptoms, they spread far and wide. They show up as demerged invoices, missed production schedules, tense customer calls, and sleeping sleepless nights for many a supply chain leader. Ports don't just move goods, they move economies. And the strength of the global supply chain depends on the strength of these gateways.